Assalamualaikum and welcome to Rekanik. I'm Shamim, your Cikgu Katia. So let's say if you want to make a rectangle. So we go to the profile toolbar and we go to the rectangle icon. Click it and click the first point and the second point and there you have it, your rectangle. But it's generally it's better to put the rectangle on the center of the sketch. If the rectangle is measured by 25 mm horizontally and then 75 mm vertically, we can just do that by using under constraint toolbar, we use the constraint icon, click it to activate it, and then click the horizontal side of the line and the vertical side, sorry, make sure it is activated, the constraint icon. And then double click the horizontal dimension, change it to 275. And the vertical one is 75. And at this stage, usually beginners would divide this value by 2 to make a constraint which is from here to here so that this rectangle is at, at the center of the vertical axis while they would divide this one by two to make it center at the horizontal axis. Going to use the constraint back. Click it here and then another one here. So we put the horizontal dimension and divide it by two. While this one, 75 divided by 2. What if after some time you are told to change the dimension of the rectangle? Say it's going to be 364 by 83. So you have to get back to the sketch and then change each of these four dimensions, which is uh, much more tedious actually. So we actually have a more faster solution for this kind of thing. So let's delete this first, the half dimension and this one too. So now the rectangle is can be freely roaming. Now we go to constraint, let's double click it so that we can continuously use it. And then I select the right vertical line and then the left one now we right click it go to allow symmetry line and then select this vertical axis so now when we move this sketch it is exactly at the center of the vertical axis so the left side is completely mirrored to the right side Alright, so we're going to do the same for the top and bottom line. Select the constraint icon. And then we select the top line, the bottom line. And right click. Select allow symmetry line. And select the horizontal axis as the line of symmetry. So there you have it. So if we want to change the overall dimension of this rectangle. But we will still want to keep it at the center of the sketch. Let's say it is 384, like just now. And this one is 83. So it will still be at the center of the sketch, regardless of the dimension of the overall rectangle. That's all for this video. So stay tuned for the next one. Assalamualaikum.